Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alfie, aka Quantum Casa. <laughs> Today, we're venturing to a coffee shop called Black Cowboy Coffee, located in Elephant and Castle. I've been wanting to go to this coffee shop for so long, but the pandemic happened. But the pandemic is technically over now, so that's where we're going. But unfortunately, we haven't got access to any horses at the moment because they're probably horsing around saying hey to each other. <laughs> but instead, we've got a car, so we're gonna skirt, skirt all the way to the coffee shop. Whoa! <laughs> what a way to kind of get into a car when I could have just opened the door. I just had to be extra. <laughs> Speaking of cars, today's video is sponsored by Adrian Flux Insurance, an insurance company that sponsors thousands of young UK drivers. Not to mention, they can cover you and your own car or your parents' car. If you want to find out more about Adrian Flux Insurance, click the link down below and see how they can help you. So we made it outside Black Cowboy Coffee and like I've just been saying to James that I've been wanting to come to this place for so long because with me like I love coffee shops like all coffee is amazing but I love the coffee shops that are very feng shuiable and that means amazing and this gives off those vibes feng shui I'm doing good, man. Been wanting to come in for so long. Really? Yeah, like I saw you on Instagram. I, I review coffee. <laughs> yeah. I'm so gassed. I normally get an espresso, a latte, and I saw your menu. What, what would you recommend? These are different blends. Oh my. What would you recommend? I mean, it depends on your palate. Every single one of them you can do grow with espresso. Mm. But for me, yeah, I, I prefer to drink espresso as much as I can. Mm. So I go for the smoothest, the less intense. So I can drink as much because I love coffee. Yeah, I'll go with whatever. You, yeah, whatever but in you the like. mornings, you know, when I do want a little bit of a spark, I'll go for the extreme one. Yeah, just, just, to, <laughs> just give me that slap, yeah. right? For the blue bonnet, I can drink it all day. Sweet. Um, I'll grab this one in espresso. Uh, okay. It's a normal espresso, and I think with a latte. Do the. Uh, Gaucho for Latin. Sweet, yeah. And I don't know what for the third one, like what what would you say like your speciality, like kind of coffee here is? As in, what do you mean? Is it the coffee beans or the actual coffee? The actual beans? coffee, yeah. All of them. Hmm? <laughs> what do you mean my speciality? I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you know what I love it. Every single one. All right, uh, how, how about this? Surprisingly, one of the coffees. As in picking the coffee? Yeah, uh, the coffee and the actual. And yeah. Okay, dude. You don't get that often, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but um, I do get quite a, lo a lot of asks. Mm. Some of them unusual, some of them from a lesser existence, if you know what I mean. Yeah. A lesser intellect. <laughs> the but basic suits, yeah? That's not a lesser intellect. When they ask you something that is so mundane, mm. then you don't, you know, it's difficult to answer, but you yeah. still answer. But anyway, let's do the ones you asked for in the first place. You want me to do a, a special one for you? Uh, yeah, something special. With milk or without milk? Whatever. You know, this, this is this come from you. Okay, I'm gonna give you a cold espresso. Sweet. Yeah. All right. Cool. And can I get I just, uh, the iced Freddo lot? Okay, okay. That's yeah. I'm gonna do a an uh, iced uh, espresso. Sweet. Which is Freddo espresso. Okay. Yeah? Sweet. Mm. Okay. So after we arrived here, I had a little chit chat with the owner of Black Cowboy Coffee and I asked him for the first coffee to surprise me on what to drink first. And what I've got here is the Iced Freddo Espresso. And if you can look at it, it looks very, very feng shui. Like, it looks, 
It looks so good, you know what I mean? I'm just so excited, like, like talking to you guys right now. I'm just so happy being here. The atmosphere is just, it's out of this world. Before I actually drink this, I thought I'd let you know what type of blend it is here. It's the Gaucho. I think I pronounced that right. If not, I'm sorry. But just in case, I'm gonna pop it on screen here so you can have a read and see yourself. And I've never had this blend before myself. I'm super excited, so let's give this a go. Oh my god. Oh, that's nice. You know, you, you know what I got there? It's super like, I wouldn't say citrusy, it's more or less sharp, you know? Like, it's sharp and then it's gentle. You see someone going to slap you, but that, when they actually touch your skin, it's a stroke. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what it is, basically. I'm getting quite a bit of caramel. You know, it's very caramelly. Oh, that's good, man. I could drink this all day. I just can't express to you guys that, like, I, I, look, look at this. <laughs> oh, oh, no, it's cool, man. Just... Moment. Wait, that's your espresso? Thank you, bro. And that's your freedom. All right, okay. that's for this guy. Right. I was just expressing my. I love it, man. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. I like the energy, dude. I'm like that 24-7. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? He's such a lovely guy. Like, Thank oh, sweet. Know. Thank you so much, okay. man. All right. Sweet. You know, you just tense up of excitement. You know, you just don't know where to put it. It's just. <laughs> Listen, like the Gaucho Iced Credo Espresso. I think I said the name backwards, but I apologize. But that's what this is. It's a five out of five drink. I'm in love. Like, it gives that sharp, gentle slap, and that's what you want with an iced beverage, you know? It, like, especially if you're a hard worker and you're working all day, have a sip of this. Boom! And then it just. It just, it just, <laughs> it just gives you that, you know, that. that, that <laughs> I'm happy, man. This is good. James, just look at the artwork on this, man. Like, the branding. Like, look at this. The branding. I think this is one of my most favorite, like, coffee ventures so far. Top five. This is top five. I love it. I'll give you a complimentary coffee bean. Oh. A, a ground buffalo bay, one of my house blends. Thank okay. you, man. Complimentary. Okay, it's really good. Thank you All so right. much. Sweet. That's... What? What? Thank you so much. The espresso here is of the blue bonnet bean, which has tasting notes of juicy apple and blackcurrant. And that sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. Put it on the screen and sing it with me. Amazing. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's give this a go. Like, I'm so gassed. There's a reason why it says this is a perfect espresso for the evening because like it's not too sharp I'm definitely tasting the juicy apple and I'm getting hints of the black currant. That is My mouth is watering mm. Right now the amount of serotonin like that's just igniting in my head from this whole experience and the experience isn't even over It's mental. I'm lost for words. This espresso five out of five. It's that good like You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm in my happy place, you know, and this is the beauty of being a coffee vlogger as well. You've got the aspect of going to the coffee shop, talking with the coffee owners, the people, the atmosphere, the amazing coffee, and like just being one with yourself, you know, like it is a vlog, but it's more or less like a travel vlog, but like of your own journey. No, I don't know what I'm saying. Ignore me. <laughs> okay, I was trying to be spiritual. Let's move on. Let's <laughs> I'm moving on to the third coffee, beverage, drink, refreshment. <laughs> moving on to the latte, which is normal cow milk. And out of the three coffees here, this is the only coffee that contains milk. So the tasting notes are going to be slightly different because milk kind of feng shui's the coffee differently to when it's on its own. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, basically, it's like when you dilute juice, you know? If you, like, if you drink water on its own, it just tastes like water. You know, but if you add a bit of dilute juice, what do you get? Orange juice with a bit of water flavor. The same concept. <laughs> anyway, the latte is the same blend as the iced Freddo espresso we had previously, the gaucho, which was beyond, like, it was out of this world. So I've got high expectations for what that espresso is gonna do when milk has touched it because it's a whole different world. You know how they say in one of those Disney films, it's a whole new world. Never doing that again. <laughs> Just give it a go. Ooh. That is so nice. I have to try it twice because twice confirmed. I have not been disappointed at all. Each and every single coffee I've had here has been out of this world. Five out of five. That's the Quantum Casa Alfie rating. Five out of five, you know, atmosphere, people, coffee, 
feng shuiness. It's just, it's, it's there, man. Like, I'm genuinely happy. This is good coffee. To the owner that you're probably gonna be watching this, thank you very much for having me here. You have amazing coffee. I am truly grateful, especially for the free coffee here. Like, I got so much love for you, man, and we've only just met, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, let's rate this latte here. We already know what I'm gonna rate it. Take a guess, take a guess, take a guess. It's a five out of five. It is amazing. Like, this is the best coffee experience I've had so far. 100%. So it all started from like a little chaos. Uh, what, the pushcart? Yeah. That's how I started over there, in the pushcart. Cool. Okay, I built that myself. So. Uh, I came back from the state on the extreme startup season, as you know. I was homeless when I came back. So I took some money from Government Enterprise alone and I started that. Then the next level up was the trailer. I don't know if you've seen the trailer. Huh? I don't think I've seen the trailer. Yeah, that's over there. I was in the, the trailer. Then this is the touch stage. The next level, I will probably be uh, I'm aiming for Tooting Tech to have another shop in Tooting Tech. Okay. And then expansion from there. Once I get another shop somewhere else, then I'll, I'll aim for the West End. Sick, That's amazing. how it's gonna go. How did the whole like cowboy thing come to be? At this stage in my life, I've done a lot of things, right? And I decided I'm gonna do one thing that I love the most. And it's paired up with the actual history of the cowboys. Okay. Okay. Having lived in Texas for 14 years, I knew a little bit about it before, about the, uh, the existence of black cowboys in America. But it's not widely known because Hollywood, as you know, canceled everything. It just yeah, I twisted it. Hollywood yeah. changed the narrative and made it a purely white existence, which it wasn't. Because if you can imagine, all the hard, difficult, horrible stuff were done by mostly African Americans mm. back in the day. We would not expect them not to be doing the same thing in cowboy phenomena, yeah. in the cowboy era. So a lot of the cowboys, at least one in four, were African American. Hence the cowboy came to be the, uh, the word phrase cowboy because okay. the black men were called boys okay. so they called cowboys and the white guys were called cattle hands or ranchers oh okay. yeah that's how it came so i dug deeper into the history and fortunately i used to live in richmond texas close to a very old ranch called george ranch and the whole history is laid out there for nine years in the states i was a truck driver so dressed this way living the life of a cowboy what we call it asphalt cowboy you know, you know I had that phrase, you know. So. so that's what you call truck drivers that I kind of look back in, in the cowboy era. So we dress like this, we act, we experience the whole thing they experienced back then, apart from the fact that we didn't go, we use a horse, we use a truck. But going back to my uh, my, my story about the African American cowboys, not a lot of people know that this they existed. They didn't know. Those pictures you see up there are the actual original cowboys. So they did exist. I know about it. A lot of people know about it. But the world doesn't know about it. And it's yeah. a totally different reality from what people know. So when you bring it to the for, it's kind of like a big shock to the system because that reality doesn't exist for them. But the real deal is that they were there, they did most of the hard work, they deal with the cooks, chefs, the cattle hands, the ones that did the most difficult job going on the trails, and they were forgotten in history. I, having the, the strength of a lion of my ancestors, because my ancestral link is quite strong, I tapped into that strength and I said, I'm going to bring it to the front. It's my world, I existed in that world, and I want to make the world know that this exists, that this did happen. So at this moment in my time, I'm living everything I wanted to do. I love the cowboy phenomenon, I love the strength of the cowboy, so I decided to do it. I decided to use it as a business. Mind you, the first person to use that as a business entity. So I feel very proud of that, and I'm gonna take it as far as I possibly can, which is years beyond my death. I love it, it's very, it's very It's unique, powerful, it's, 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 You stand out amongst like the, the amount of coffee shops I've been to. This place stands out, like, I've been wanting to come here for like- to it from my heart. Uh, that, that's the main you cannot separate it from me. So when I tell you a story about it, it's hundred percent because yeah. it's my life. I experienced it, and it did actually happen. But then people were expecting that perhaps the actual products might be of a lower. So if you want to start a coffee shop, you just do a coffee shop. I lived a life of excellence for so many years uh, since I was born. So I thrive on excellence. If I'm going to do something, I'll do it at the best possible way. So I've got the best coffee beans, and I'm going to keep bringing out more coffee beans in the future. All supreme, high quality standard coffee beans and Arabic beans i don't do robust because that's a bit low grade yeah. <laughs> you know so uh, there'll be more to come and yeah. it's all based on my life and my need to live my life fully basically that's what this is about i love that like the raw passion you it's, know, like, it's i mean it's yeah, literally i walk in every day it feels like new it's like a new day every day they can yeah. tell you they, yeah. you know i feel like that every day i can do this forever you know without saying okay i need to sit down for a minute never gonna happen like I love it, like you know, especially when it's history and history behind things, you know. Yes. Like, cause, um, like my dad tells me a lot of history because like he's Moroccan and there's loads of like, there's loads of stuff that isn't documented, you know. Absolutely. And it's just like when I find out some things about my own, like you know, like ancestors, and I'm just like, I you see the leaves, you see your leaves. 
know you're part of us, right? <laughs> you know that, yeah. right? Okay. <laughs> I'm just I get it, I get it all okay. the time, man.